Artists who dance for kind's traditional oil lamp dance are encouraged to consult an independent body before the dance is staged on events or occasions. Sarah Way tells us why. To ensure the traditional dance maintain its true form, the association asks performers who will stage it in public to seek permission from them. Yangon-based Rakhine Literature and Cultural Association said performing traditional ethnic dances can promote their culture, but performances should maintain the dance purpose and meaning. This Boda Buznia Olam dance is created based on styles of mural paintings found in Miao's temples. This dancing has ever been performed at the Union Day's dancing performances of national races in 1966. It's not proper to dance in restaurants because its style is meant to offer lights to Boda image. According to the association, Rakhine traditional Walam Den is part of the ceremony to honor the Lord Buddha, but some performer these days dance it far from its original form. Senior performers say the dance may have been affected by changing times, but are convinced that it must be conserved. The dancing style of Buddha Buzaniya while lamp dance must not be lively. The postures of dancing styles are gentle and delicate and elegant, with the dancers downcast their eyes. One of the Rakhine ethnic that I talked to welcomes the move and hopes for a stronger commitment for it. Such traditional dance should be protected from tech dance. Authority also need to take stronger action on this kind of matter. Dancing, it is acceptable as it can promote its popularity should be kept as traditional. Rakai Literature and Cultural Association Yangon claims that this move is approved by the Rakai State National Races Affairs Ministry to protect the standard of their historical dance. Sarah Wei for MITV, Myanmar International Television.